The burial of veteran journalist Nathaniel Nakasa was described as an end to a tragic chapter in South African history. Today, hundreds from across the globe gathered at the Durban City Hall to bid him farewell. He was laid to rest at Chesterville Cemetery in Durban. The final leg in the lifelong journey of Nat Nakasa. It began here in Chesterville in 1937, the township where Nakasa was born and raised. He first worked at the Durban-based Langa newspaper and later joined then-leading publications, Drum Magazine and the Rand Daily Mail. His writings earned him the Neiman Fellowship at Harvard University in 1964, but he was forced to leave the country on an exit visa as the apartheid government refused to give him a passport. Less than a year later, Nakasa died after falling from a building in New York in an apparent suicide. He was 28. For decades, his family tried to get his remains repatriated to South Africa. Last month, Nakasa finally made his journey back home. Today, the country gathered to honor and remember this legend, described as a visionary ahead of his time. Much as he was not any other person, his pen worked for him, and it was mightier than the sword. He was a nation builder and an agent of social cohesion before this became a buzzword. His family said Nakasa was a gift they happily shared with the world. We lost Nat, but he is alive. In his works, he lives on, and we thank the South African government, we thank everybody, Sanef for bringing him home, and we say that uh, he will lie on the soil of, of South Africa. The shrill of a wandering and restless soul from afar, the feeling of unfulfilled freedom as long as he was with the brothers and sisters at Fentcliffe, but not here at home, haunted all of us every day and spared us on. And so after 50 years, Nakasa's journey finally ended. He was laid to rest at Heroes Acre in Chesterville Cemetery. Heindem Klongo, SABC News, Durban.